Hi everyone, uh, I'm Toby, I'm from Yazoon. Um, we are a marketplace vendor and we specialize on um, building apps between Microsoft and uh, Jira or Atlassian apps. Um, and I wanted to give you a quick overview about the retirement of the Office 65 connectors um, that's about to happen in a few months um, and how that might affect your uh, automation rules. So what is this about? Um, Microsoft is trying to um, move a lot of um, customers away from these uh, Office 365 connectors um, and onto their workflows platform, which is um, based on Power Automate. Um, how, how might this be affect, uh, affect you? Um, so we have, for example, if you have um, an automation rule in Jira, um, which where you use this uh, send Microsoft Teams message action, um, you might actually be affected because this is actually under the hood using uh, the, the Office 65 connectors, um, which will stop working in October. Um, so you might have an uh, automation where you, for example, um, so this is a very simple rule, for example, where I say when an issue is created um, and the request type is uh, report a system problem, I just want to post an information about this incident uh, to a Teams channel. Um, and this is how this would currently look like. Um, I have an incident channel in my Microsoft Teams here and um, the Atlassian automation bot would be posting this um, message once an incident has been created. As you can already see, Microsoft already started um, notifying users that this will actually be deprecated and you um, need to move to something else. Um, so I just wanted to give you a quick overview on, on the alternatives you have to fix this. Um, one thing that might be of use is if you have something that should only work in a certain project. So if you have, in my case, I had only a, um, a project rule so for example, I had this in the Atlassian service management project here. Um, so this is only for one project for me. So I might have actually an alternative that works with the official, uh, official Atlassian Teams integration. How can you do this? Um, if you go to project settings in your project, um, there's actually um, something called Microsoft Teams integration down here. This is um, basically something free that Atlassian is offering. Uh, which you can use to notify um, a Teams channel about something that's happening in an issue. Um, so what I could do here now is I could go ahead and uh, add a new connection, um, in this case, IT department and the incident channel. I click add, um, and then I basically get a quick pop-up that says um, what I want to post into this channel. Um, in my case, I want to post only the incidents um, and only when they are created. Um, and then I click save. And now I basically have something that replicates my uh, very, a bit very, very simple automation rule with not a lot of conditions um, via this official Microsoft Teams integration from Atlassian. Um, this will not work very well uh, if you have a more conditional workflow here in your Jira automation. Um, since you can only have like, uh, for example, issue created and updated notifications. So I can show you how this looks like. Um, so let me create an incident, demo incident. Um, and you will be able to see that the new connection I just configured um, basically now posted the, the incident here into Teams. Um, so if you have a very simple automation rule, this might be a good alternative you can use and that uh, Atlassian offers out of the box. Um, now, when you need something more advanced and you want to replicate your um, automation with one to one, um, we as a uh, marketplace vendor, we can we have also something. Um, so we have basically a very very deep integration with Microsoft Teams, um, and with our app, you basically have the possibility to create automation actions as well. So what I could do here, um, so in our app. Um, I can go to actions and what I could do is um, I want to create an action and what I want to do is I want to just replicate the exact thing that I, I had basically used before with a send Microsoft Teams message. Um, I want to do this with our app. Um, and what that basically does is um, I want to create like a Teams channel conversation post. Um, I can say, okay, the name of this one should be post incident to Teams. Um, and what I will do here now, it, I will get like an, 
automation config that I can use in uh, the native Jira automation. I will just copy this URL here. Um, and I will just remove the existing send teams message action, add a new action, um, in this case, uh, send web request action. And I will post the um, URL I just uh, created in our automation. And I'm just going to update the rule. Uh, make sure that you also set the web request body to, to issue data automation format so that we can actually have the, the link to the correct issue. Just update now. Um, I'm going to then in our automation config, I'm just going to select the correct incident channel. Um, and what I do here is I want to have like a issue card posted. We have some customizations for this coming on, um, but currently it's like only you can choose between an issue card or a custom message. And then I just create the action. Now, um, again, let me just remove this one to show you this better. Now, if I create a new incident, you will see that um, our app basically now just replaces this, the, the native um, action in your automation rule, and it will basically work very, very similar. Um, just call this uh, demo with your Zoom app. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and create this. And what you will see now that um, basically our app um, will go ahead and post the notification inside of Teams channel. Um, and as you can see here, um, the issue card has been posted through automation. Um, the cool thing about this is now, if you have like a um, conversation happening in here, um, for example, I'll just post, I'll look into this. Um, this is also something which we do that you will be inside of the issue, then be able to um, view the communication that is happening in Teams. Um, for example, um, this will basically instantly show uh, my comment I just did into Teams. Um, and another cool thing is that, um, yeah, for example, if I um, resolve this issue because it has been actually fixed, um, this is also something that reflected into the Teams channel immediately. So basically, if you're working only in Teams, um, this is also a nice way to, to stay up to date. Um, we have a few more features in that regard. So um, you can also do something to create, like for example, an automation trigger um, for certain commands. So you could go ahead um, and say something like hashtag done, and then in Jira automation have a trigger to actually yeah, transition the issue on something like this. Um, but this is going to be a bit of a longer thing to configure. Um, we have a lot of examples like this in our documentation. So if that's something you're interested in to automating your whole teams and jira interaction with more um, that can certainly help you um, you can find our app um, on the marketplace if you're interested in that um, so what it's called like so we basically have like two apps um, the bigger one is uh, called microsoft 365 for jira um, this includes all the teams features in addition um, to some outlook features and outlook add-in um, some calendaring stuff and uh, if you're only looking for um, the, the Teams integration, we also have like an app which only comes with, with the Teams features. Yeah, that's from my side. Um, I hope this gave you a bit of an overview um, on what actions you can take to um, fix your automation rules or to, to update your flows um, before this deprecation goes into effect uh, in October. Thanks for your time.